Okay, so welcome to Setup Tips episode 13. In today's episode of Setup Tips, we're going to be talking about something that's really, really important, but also very often overlooked. Isolation pads for your studio monitors, your bookshelf speakers, or whatever kind of speakers you have in your setup. Let's talk about it. So this isolation pads for bookshelf speakers do one very, very important thing, which is actually really important, as opposed to just placing your speakers directly on your desk like most people do. When you put these isolation pads underneath them, they help you prevent the vibrations from the sound from actually eating your desk or vibrating onto your desk, which pretty much prevents you from having the best experience, especially when you're typing. If you're somebody who does a lot of work at your desk while you're listening to music or mastering audio or anything like that. Now, this is especially important because most of those vibrations make it kind of uncomfortable using your desk. Everything on top of the desk, inside of the desk, starts to vibrate from the base from this bookshelf speakers or the studio monitors. In fact, for people who actually bring food and drinks to their desk, this might be a problem with your glass cups and stuff, probably even shattering if your speakers are strong enough or spilling something everywhere on your desk. But with isolation pads, you can completely prevent that. Now, another really interesting function that these things actually play is that they help you elevate your speakers to closer to hair angle. Uh, in my case, I paid for a pair of two of these for around $35 if I remember correctly. And while they're actually relatively fairly elevated, you actually have extra pads that you can attach to them to elevate them just a little bit more to make them closer to angled towards your hair, which is something that you would have probably had to do with like rubber feet or extended rubber feet or something like that if you decided to, you know, not use this isolation pads. Now, of course, this foam like isolation pads are not the only type that exist. There are actually other kinds. There are some that are a little more fancy and slightly more expensive. You know, that will probably look nicer on your tinier speakers or your smaller speakers. But if you want the best kind of performance when it comes to isolating sound from your desk, these are the type or the kinds that I've found to work the best, especially in my own personal application for my workspaces. So uh, if you're going to be interested in picking up some of these isolation pads, I'm going to have links to some options in the description below. I personally am actually in the process of changing my own isolation pads because apparently these ones that I bought are supposed to be for 6.5 inch speakers and lower but my speakers are kind of smaller than that, so they kind of look like they're just swimming inside of them. I mean, I don't really mind it much, but now that I've decided to change my setup and move to a new office, it might just be time to get something new or something fresher, and something that's actually made for my speaker size, if that makes sense. Anyways, if this video today gets 100 likes, I'm going to be shipping 10 isolation pads to 10 people who actually mentioned in the comment section below that they would like to have some of this. But of course, this video has to get to 100 likes first. Get yourself isolation pads for your desk. It's very, very important for your bookshelf speakers if you want to actually get the best experience, especially when it comes to sound, vibrations, and the performance of your speakers. That was Setup Tips episode 13. Thank you so much for watching, and I guess I will see you on another video that was shot by Kagan. Peace. The kind of gods.